Hey guys, Jason Arnett, Athletic Trainer at Virginia Therapy and Fitness Center, alongside Eileen, one of our awesome PAs at the Virginia Spine Institute. Um, today we're going to talk to you about the basics of human movement. Um, most human movement can be grouped into six or seven different uh, categories. Today we're going to talk about four of those for two reasons. One, they don't require any equipment, so you can do them anytime, anywhere. Um, but two, and probably most importantly for all movement, is that it's hardwired into your brain. And these movements need skill, skill needs practice, so let's get practicing. Hey guys, we're going to take Eileen through a little circuit of the exercises we just discussed. Feel free to join along with us. We're going to start with some squats. Good setup here for Eileen. She's got her feet nice and wide. Feet are facing, uh, uh, turned out just a little bit. Knees are following where her feet are pointing. Knees aren't collapsing together. Her torso is staying nice and upright. Right? In other words, we don't want her pitching forward. That looks perfect. Nice job, Eileen. Good. Now we're going to do some push ups. Okay. Push ups might save your life one day, so it's a good idea to know how to do them. So she's got a good straight line from her ear down to her, her ankles. Elbows aren't too close in, they're not too far out, but just about right. Body staying in that nice straight line. Head's not jutting forward. These are hard. Good job, Eileen. Good. Up you go. <laughs> All right, let's try some lunges. Let's do some reverse lunges. So you're going to step on back. Good. So you see here, she's staying, it's like her squat. She's trying to stay nice and upright. Okay. The knees follow the, the, the rule of 90. So we see that her hip, knee, and ankle, and the front leg are both at about 90, or all three are at 90 degrees. Back leg 90 degrees at the knee and the ankle. Pushing that left foot in the ground to come up. Good hand motion too. Good. Exercise primarily designed for the quads. You might feel the glutes working a little bit. Some balance involved as well. Nice. You can see them starting to burn a little bit. Good. Now we're going to go to a single leg deadlift. So now we're really working on balance on that backside. Okay? So start with the feet together. Good. And she's going to reach back with her back leg, almost like she's reaching down towards the floor there. Good. Try to reach down towards your, towards your foot. Good. Torso staying nice and level. Hip going back at about a 45 degree angle. Really gets that hip working. Drive back with that foot. Good. Nice. Where are you feeling it? Yep. My glutes. Yeah. Good. You might feel this in the, in the hamstrings. You might feel it in the lower back. That's fine. That's all normal. Good. Okay. Switch them up. Good luck. This is a great way. The single leg stuff is a really good test to, to look at your symmetry. Is it easier to bounce on one leg? Do you have more range of motion on one side? If you're limited on one side, practice that side a little bit more. Good. See if we can get that hip shifting back a little bit more. A little bit lower as well. There we go. Nice. Balance is pretty good. <laughs> nice job. Well done. Hey everyone, obviously if you're taking the time to listen to this video, you're looking for other ways that you can get moving and get your body toned. So these are some great exercises you can do to get your legs moving and your heart pumping a little bit when you have extra time at home. Enjoy!